In order to read the lectern, a comparator is used. There's two wires that just connect straight through down to the contacts here that connect to the top contact. The top gets angled in and then popped down, then connected into the bottom block. One of the top pins gets supplied with positive voltage running through these blocks. And when the resistor is placed, it allows the 5 volts to run through the resistor and down into a voltage divider created within this block underneath the comparator. I have a pull down resistor that's connected to one of the analog pins. So when a resistor is connected with a voltage, there's going to be a divided voltage in the middle. A quick explanation on voltage dividers. They consist of two separate resistant values, one connected to positive voltage and the other connected down to ground. Depending on the resistance will determine the voltage drop across that resistor. Swapping out the resistor connected to the power, the lower resistance will result in a lower voltage drop to begin with leading to a higher voltage red. Swapping the resistors so there's a higher resistance connected to the positive and a lower resistance connected to the ground will result in a lower voltage red. Here I'm using a resistor of 10 ohms, resulting in a full redstone signal. Putting a higher resistance value will decrease the redstone signal since it will drop the voltage. And so here a 1000 ohm resistor will only yield 4 redstone dust levels. In this book I'm using double sided tape in order to hold this little page down underneath there's a resistor that's able to just poke on through to the main lectern. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, as always, please let me know. And thank you for watching.